Libra, hello, welcome. <laughs> this is your mid-April reading. I did April readings last week, I think. They're in a playlist, so you can look at those if you haven't already. But this is just getting ready for mid-April, really, just see what else we get. I'm using the Fortune Telling deck. I am using the Spirit Guide Animal deck because it's spring solstice here today. So all the little animals are coming out uh, of hibernation. So that's why I decided to use um, the anim Spirit Animal deck. I'm using my deck there for our guru messages. Um, Lovers Oracle um, for the relationship. And Spirit Tarot is what we're... Um, Spirit Tarot. Light Seers Tarot. We're moving into that now. And I'll be using that tarot deck up until um, Beltane in May. Um, because I like using the Light Seers Tarot at this time of year. Because it's spring, so here in the UK. I know it's not spring everywhere. <laughs> I always used to forget that. Okay, let's go into Libra then. If you've got Libra anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. Thanks for clicking the thumbs up button. That's liking it. And thank you for subscribing. Okay, healing. Okay. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So beautiful energy of healing for you and a lover or somebody you care about. It could be a platonic or family member. So there's going to be some sort of healing going on for you and somebody else. You know, some kind of connection is or relationship is healing for you mid-April, okay? Okay. Um, what you've got here is the tower card. <laughs> oh, you know, there's been some sort of change. It just had to be, you know, and this is this would have been fairly recently, really. Um, I don't know, this year anyway, it would have happened this year. Um, and it's just showing that, you know, you just have to change things, basically, because they just weren't aligned. And it wasn't vibrationally working anymore. So, and it's hard, it is hard when we have to realise that certain things in our life are just not vibrationally aligning anymore. You know, it's not easy. Um, two of wands as well. I mean, that, again, the two wands can't come together as one, they're separate. And it, it it's a lot of reflection going on at the moment of how some, somehow something vibrationally can't come together, right? Um, but you know what's happening mid-April you've got Queen of Wands in reverse this is a good energy you know it's like Libra you are so much more mature than you were and you're being very you're just being good you're just being your beautiful spiritual self you're being aligned to being more responsible and you know, just careful, you know, you might even find you bit yourself being more economical, like with money and resources. Um, and you're just trying to be good. You're not you're not trying to do anything crazy. <laughs> you know, you're just trying to stay on the right path on the right track. You, you know, you're going through a lot of acceptance work at the moment. And you know, you're going to be really, really happy. You're going to be really, really happy. Um, because things just feel better come mid-April. Things just feel more aligned, better. You're going to feel a lot more spiritual, you know, because you're making pure decisions from your heart that you know your godly self, like your spiritual self. Sorry if you don't like the word God, but, you know, it's just another word for source. You just really prioritizing the right decisions and the right actions and it's so it feels so good it's pure you know it's um and that's going to just make expand your heart it's going to expand the energy of source just running through you libra um okay so we'll have a look at your person Your person's been going through a lot of tears or a lot of stress. <laughs> They're going to be releasing that 
Um, they have to move on. They have to let this go. I just saw the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> and I don't normally look at the bottom of the deck at the, in the middle of readings, but Spirit guided me to. Um, you know, th there's been a lot of tears and a lot of heartache or stress for this person. They have to, Spirit is urging them to let go of something. Because if they don't, it breaks their back. It starts to affect their health. I feel this person's got a very determined energy. So in spite of the challenges, they will make it to the finish line. They will be successful in their healing. Even if they do it in an unconventional way. <laughs> um, they... By mid-April... They know they have to let certain things go because otherwise they can't harmonise their own energy. And they certainly wouldn't be able to harmonise their energy with you. So I don't know if this person's got issues from their childhood that they know they need to let go of finally. Or maybe an ex or maybe a situation that was really getting in the way of things with you and them. I do listen to what you say. I try to find a solution within myself. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> I think this person just knows full well that you are going through this change. And they know that there's no way you are going to take risks ever again. I think they know that you are well aware and awake <laughs> to things. And they realise that the problem lies with them, really. And that unless they do something, things aren't going to improve. Oh, you're going to laugh when you see this courtship. You know... You are being careful about who you get involved with. You being careful. You're coming from a good place within your heart. And somebody's going to have to do that type of thing with you to get your attention. <laughs> you know, somebody wants to, you know, stick around in your life. They're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. They're going to have to come into that type of mature energy otherwise it won't work for you i feel libra's moved on massively okay so the guru message is surrender everything is predestined okay so you do you, you, to a certain level now you do and this is why you've had your tower moment you've come into acceptance and at the moment you're really just reviewing things and observing and just knowing that all right i've just come this far now so i can't really drop my energy back i can't really go back into toxic patterns or anything like that you know and you sort of it's it will make you purge like hell i mean this is a new moon this is a new lunar cycle it's the solstice energy it's a great time for aligning to a higher vibration and the energies are going to be supporting you massively to just keep moving forward and not go back basically and i think your person's going to realize that by mid-april that it ain't going to go back um they're going to have to dig deep really somebody's going to have to dig deep if they want to get close to you and if it's a new person you know <laughs> same same applies um a guru is is just supporting you to surrender so you will find yourself <laughs> like just learning more and more to just go with the flow of life and just see where this is all taking you like i said at times you'll feel a lot of pain body come up because you it's almost like you just there's a part of you wishing you could revert back to old ways or something but you know you can't so you will purge um, I know I have been. <laughs> My ego's been kicking and screaming for me to go back into old patterns. But I just can't, you know. It won't happen now. So it's all... Remember, it's all predestined, right? 
you are going to get courted by somebody. That's the type of energy you're now in. <laughs> Whether it's this person that's going to wake up and realise they're going to have to do that if they want you to stick around in their life, or whether it's going to be somebody new, you are going to get courted in the old fashioned way. It's not a word I would ever use, but it's in this, in that card. Okay, and your spirit guides are basically talking about, uh, well, you've got the cheater. <laughs> you've got the cheater. Get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They are making you surrender to the way things are right now. And they are basically making you just keep move forward. They're making you focus on the goal, which is this new Libra who isn't trying to compromise themselves or fit in with other people, but actually hold your own light, hold your own frequency. So your spirit guides are definitely helping you with this and it's all predestined. This is what was going to happen right now in your life that you were going to be doing this. So let's see what that person does or whether it's going to be somebody new coming in. There you go. How interesting. Um, thanks for liking. Thanks for clicking the thumbs up button and um, subscribing. And if you want to book in for a reading, you can. You can also purchase my deck. And if you live overseas, there's not literally it's like an extra three pound for delivery because I, I've already got a bit of delivery cost in the price. So it's not too pricey. Um, you can go to my links below. If you go in the comments box, there's a link that takes you straight to my website if you click on it. Or you can email me or you can f contact me on Facebook. And I'm sending you lots of love and peace.